Well, hey, air signs, welcome in. Welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday week. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Feast of the Saturnalia. Winter Solstice. Merry Christmas. And any other holidays I might be leaving out. <laughs> hope you all are having a great time with your family and friends this week. I will be putting up a schedule of what I'm going to be posting um, this week. You'll see that in terms of the 2020 um, by Zodiac. I'm going to do all the Zodiac 2020 predictions. That's going to be coming up. I will post that so you'll know what days those things, which signs are going to be posted when. Okay, so you can check that out in the description box below. It's, it's, you know, midway down. It's not like right at the top or anything. So I know there's a lot of information in that description box. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is for you messages that want to come through December 24th and 25th. I hope you're getting everything you have wanted, everything that you have manifested, most positive, joyful, love, abundance of all kinds to you. All right, let's see where we go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the extended, I will look at whatever uh, zodiac signs do come up. Never truly alone. Someone's always coming toward you. Someone's always going away from you. Never really truly alone. Um, so that's, uh, that's something to consider, okay, for 2020. All right, a bunch of pick-a-card readings going up this week, too. I hope you like those. Uh, please tell me what questions you'd like me to ask in the pick a cards because the pick a cards are timeless they're not um they're not focused on a date or anything like that like these dailies are so let me know down below what you'd like me to ask or answer i guess all right so mending this is for you gemini libra aquarius mending loyal heart uh i've seen that card quite a bit for you tribe this is um look at in this there's two 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 in all these cards so this really is about coupling but it's also about friendships it's also about a broader group of people you're bringing friends to the table they're bringing friends to the table family friends everybody coming to the table in a healed way mending I like the tribe one because that is about um, feeling at home emotionally with the people who are around you. This is also children, lots of children here in these cards. This is a uh, youthful energy. Something very beautiful about this. The Loyal Heart card is really one of my favorites. Um, and that says to me that the soulmate that you are seeking is um, either here or on their way. If you have been manifesting this, we'll look closer at this, but let's see where we go. There could be some old relationships mended. Okay, there could be some uh, relationships that had been broken for whatever reason. A lot of people are separated these days. A lot of people are on the opposite ends of a spectrum or not seeing eye to eye are now coming together, mending, mending fences, mending fences. That's a, that's a good thing. That needs to happen. All right, so let's see where we go here. Ace of Cups. I will keep my commentary until I lay it out. Wow, Empress, Seven of Swords, Hanged Man, Six of Cups, yes. Strength, right in the middle there. Six of Wands, Emperor, Emperor, Empress, from childhood. From childhood. Nine of Wands, really mending, yes. I feel like you guys are this new beginning mending old relationships somebody you might have had a falling out with somebody that there might have been some um, uh, history with 
Okay. I feel like this is this is going to work itself out. This is going to create even if let me just say this. Because Empress and Emperor, this is all the kings and all the queens. Very mature. So you guys could be coming together for a new beginning. Could be, you know, through the holidays, happening through the holidays. Let's see her. Within this month. Within this month. Temperance energy, Sag energy, Queen of Wands. Yeah. Okay, so this could have, um, at one point, this could have uh, been a connection that came together over passion. And now this is something that could turn into life partner. It's so beautiful. So many of the life partner things I've been seeing recently. This could have, you could have been friends with this person or you could have dated this person. There's a brand new beginning here. Somebody was very uh, deceitful or sneaky or ran away. Somebody ran away from this connection. Okay, and really try to resist the connection. Somebody, one of you, the Empress, uh, I see Taurus, Taurus and um, Libra. I see Sag, I see Leo, I see Aquarius. No, not Aquarius, Aries, sorry, Aries. So Aries, Leo, Sag, all the fire signs plus Taurus and Libra. Okay, so I, uh, it feels to me like this person who was very nurturing, very loving, this felt like it was going the distance here, um, might have run away. They might have run away from this connection. And now they're seeing uh, a new opportunity, seeing things differently. Um, they are, they could have uh, lied to themselves or lied to you, air sign, about why they ran away. I think it was just based on uh, fear. Maybe it was happening too fast. Maybe that was just becoming very serious very quickly, okay? So you here, really overcoming that feeling, you have the two overcoming cards, okay? The strength and the six of wands, I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. And P.S., they have a lot of love for you, too. Just saying. Okay? A lot of love for you, too. And now, I feel like um, how you came back together was um, a little note, a little hello, maybe through Facebook, maybe something like that. And now you guys are going to get together to work things out. All right, so the emperor with the empress, um, you both have some baggage here. You both, um, seven of swords and nine of wands, having that, um, you know, a new perspective needs to happen here. And I love the overcoming, overcoming situation. It's almost like the middle one is really about the relationship and this one is really about you down here, taking the bull by the horns, really being um, ready to step forward into this connection all right you could really have been beaten up in many ways on a lot of different levels okay um on a lot of different levels four of wands king of swords lovers there's a gemini energy tower nine of pentacles page of cups yes eight of cups walking together okay i feel like you guys know that you're moving forward together you know it. And what needs to happen now, I feel like you might be the one who's who's proposing um, let's get together in terms of commitment. OK, you might be pro promoting that or proposing that in a very um, cerebral kind of way. Like I'm not I'm not um, not coming at it from a romantic way. You're coming at it from a cerebral like, well, this would make a lot of sense. You know, like we could share rent and, and, and the other person's like, what? I'm sorry, what? Um, this needs to come together from a romantic sense, not a logical sense. So this person, so it could cause a little bit of a, a, a dust up, as it were, okay? There could be a little bit of a, and I feel like you both are very um, 
ready, willing, and able to offer each other. See how she's got the falcon. He's got the cup of, of um, fish. Fish is the symbol of Jesus. This is like a higher form of love, a new kind of love here. And I, I feel like the um, both of you need to sort of see it differently. Okay? There's a mending that needs to take place here. And it needs to go towards something much more spiritual. It's not logical, okay? It's not really that logical. It's it's going to be more about, um, it's got to be more about feelings. It's got to be more about this, okay? And I, I'm feeling like, yes, is it logical that we live together and that we're perfect for each other? Da, da, da. Like, there's a million good reasons to get together. The only one that matters, though, is you and I loving each other, wanting to lead a life together. All the logistics and stuff can be ironed out. But it really needs to be about love. It can't be just about logistics. Like, you know, well, you know, you and I are available to each other or something like that. And... I feel like um, the person, uh, this could be you proposing moving in together. It's, there's not enough feeling. This per and you guys might have a little, a little fight. Okay. So if you want to move forward with this person, my suggestion to you is that you see this from a different perspective. You access your feelings instead of your logic. Right. If you're the logical one here, the emperor, you're needing to access your empress energy. This this other person is needing to access their more logical. I mean, they're you know, they are doing that. Seven of swords kind of um, they have run away from you in the past, but now they're seeing things differently. But it's got to be about love, romance, desire, passion. Right. It's got to be about those things. Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands and commitment, love, all of that stuff. It's got to be about that. It can't be about like, well, it seems like the logical thing to do. Mm -mm. It's probably not logical. <laughs> I mean, one of you is, well, one of you is trying to appeal to the other one on the basis of logic, like this makes total sense. But the other person is going to resist that line of thought or inquiry because that's not really, it's not um, going to be what they really want in their life, which is big passion, big love, high vibration. Look at us. We are emperor, empress kind of thing. So I feel like the reason that that's happening, the one of you that proposes, you know, being together on a more permanent basis, what, I mean, I don't see, it could be proposing marriage, but it, it seems more like, a commitment of we're moving in together or some kind of other kind of commitment, okay? And I feel like you, if you're proposing that to this other person, they're going to resist that because they feel like you're being too logical because you're trying to protect yourself, you're trying to protect your heart. So that's not going to work. So in the let's go to the extent and let's see what is going to work, okay? So I'm going to look at, I see a lot here. I see Sag, Aries, Leo. I see Taurus and Libra. I also see um, Pisces, Gemini. So there's this could be another air sign. This could be a fire sign. Um, Taurus, Pisces. Okay. So we're going to look at those in the extended. Um, let's see where we go. This seems like something that's getting together, ready to get together. It's almost here. The opportunity is almost here, okay? Um, all right, so link is below for you, air sign. If you'd like to continue on with this reading, I'll see you on the other side.